Hi, this is Samantha at The Stitching Post, and today we're gonna to talk about how to stuff a pin cushion. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is just to see right here that I've clipped my corners before I flip my pin cushion, okay? So now we're gonna flip it. Three. Okay, so now I've got my pin cushion flipped inside out, and you can see that my points are not stuck out yet. So I'm gonna use this little tool called the purple thing and I'm gonna poke out my corners carefully so you don't stick right through the edge. There we go. And we wanna get all four so our corners are nice and pointy. Oh, sorry, okay. So now they're all four poked out, one a little bit too much. <laughs> so now we're gonna use a combination of polyfill and walnut shells to stuff the, the pin cushion. I think you get the best results that way. So I'm gonna just use my fingers and stuff this little bit of polyfill into the pin cushion. Okay, and the, and the polyfill is for the corners. Um, it's gonna help keep any walnut shells from sifting out of the corners, and it's also gonna help keep our points nice. Okay, so I'm just starting out using my fingers and pushing, you know, kind of dividing the polyfill and pushing it into the corners. And then I'm gonna use my tool again, and I'm gonna use this flat end of the tool to get the polyfill right up into the corners. Okay. So it'll stay nice and firm. Okay, there we go. So it's all in the corners, okay? So now you can see we've got our little hole here. And the easiest way to get your walnut shells in there is to use a funnel. Because you can imagine trying to just shove those in there by hand, it's going to take forever. So I've got a narrow neck funnel here. And I'm going to stick it right in my hole. And here's, my, here's the walnut shells. I've just put them in a Dixie cup. And you just pour them right in. Okay, give it a little shake. So I'm just gonna keep shaking the funnel and see if I can turn this on the side so you can see. I'm using the end of my funnel here to push the shells in as I shake it. So I, I wanna get a nice firm pin cushion when I'm done. Whoops, don't pull it all the way out because that's what happens. <laughs> oh goodness, okay. So it's not quite full but I'm gonna give it a shake and make sure that those walnut shells settle down into all those corners. Okay. Okay, so there's the rest of our walnut shells. And again, I am using, I'm trying to get the bottom. Oh, okay. um, I'm using my, uh, the funnel point there to push those shells in and make sure I get a really nice firm pin cushion. Because if you don't give your pin cushion a shake and push those shells in there, uh, you'll think it's full and then go to sew it up and you'll have a floppy pin cushion. Shake it again. Okay, so you can see after I shake it, now it looked full and now I've still got this much room left. So I need a few more walnut shells. Okay, so you can see now we've got a nice firmly filled pin cushion and all you need to do is sew it closed. And notice how we still have our points on our cushion. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna show you is if you don't have a funnel, if you don't have a funnel, you can just use a piece of paper. So you just roll your paper into a cone like this. Take a piece of tape and secure it in just a couple places. And you see here, I have a nice point and then you put the point into your pin cushion and use that as your funnel.